starts up in electric mode and drives off, then yeah. Oh! Just set off the uh, motion light, which is hurting my eyes. But it brightens up the smart car. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another daily vlog and I am currently trialling out places in my house that I can use as a backdrop to the video. Today I am on a mission. You would have seen on Twitter and Instagram last night that both myself and Dimmy timed our departure from London awfully, meaning that we missed a brand new crazy black and reflective orange McLaren P1. If you haven't seen my Instagram or Twitter or you don't follow me or don't have it, Check this out. So everything that I do today is gonna to be based around trying to find this McLaren P1 for you and both for, my, for me as well because it's just the most insane car ever. So firstly, I'm going to get a haircut which actually has nothing to do with trying to find this McLaren P1. But then I'm gonna be trolling through, or trawling through Instagram, not trolling Instagram, trawling through Instagram to try and find out whether it's out in central London. If it is, then I'm gonna head in early. If it's not, then I'm still gonna head in a little bit later. The sun is out. So like I said, today is all about trying to find this MSO McLaren P1. I'm dedicating today to try and find it. I'm even posting it all over Supercars of London as well. And I'm en route to get my hair cut. Now I haven't even had time to like wash out the, the hair stuff from the the hair wax from the night before. When I got in last night, went to the gym, absolutely shattered this morning. I didn't even want to vlog in bed. Now for a bit of point of view to the hairdressers. The hairdressers that I'm going to is JHD Barbers, which is um, in Watford. And um, I always get my hair cut here. You may recognize a few of the roads coming up in a mini roundabout that is just on its way up if I let the camera roll. And I'm sure that people that live in and around Watford area or Hertfordshire will recognise where we are. Yeah. I literally do smart car donuts where there's no skidding involved whatsoever. A little bit of tire squeal, tire squeal but hey, that's um, the least of this car's worries when the turning circle is so good. And here we go. We are here. I've arrived at the hairdressers. Barbers. Ashley's about the barbers. I'm about to cut my hair. He's pedantic about whether it's a hairdresser or a barber. <laughs> first thing, can we jump in this first? Because I've still got hair wax in. Yeah. I'm not going to vlog that though, because I don't want to get my phone wet. <laughs> look at this. My neck looks so fat in this. <laughs> this is a bad angle, I'm going to put it here. So I left hair wax in from uh, London yesterday. Too busy last night, I went to the gym. And uh, this morning I've just come straight here because is it shut at the moment? No, we're officially open. Uh, officially now. open. So you get special treatment. Special treatment. First in. But I'm also vlogging because no one else is in here and it's embarrassing when someone is someone else is in here. Haircut complete and they always let me go out of the shop because I need to go across the road to get cash. But they always let me out of the shop with my haircut, which is very trustworthy, but I'm gonna go and pay now and then head back home, get this video done. And there you go, that's, that's where I get my haircut, JHD. Guys, what a stunning day. It is 23 degrees here in Watford, and I cannot wait to head into central London a bit later. There's gonna to be tons of car spotters out, just purely because the P1 was seen yesterday, and everyone's gonna have seen it. So look at that, that's the same spec as the P1, just the opposite. Um, so I think that it's going to be quite busy in central London tonight or this evening or this afternoon. I am currently heading back to pick up my R8 to do a quick video. If you have been following me three weeks ago, before I went to Monaco, I did a video shoot with Auto Trader, and they're really ramping up their YouTube channel. So uh, we did a cool collaboration and their video is supposedly going out tomorrow so i'm heading back to film a little bit of a teaser that is going to be going live just after this video i'm trying to work out the video schedule at the moment but it's going to be going live after this video hopefully today 
So I'm heading home, I need to film an intro and outro for the Auto Trader teaser that's gonna feature some content that they've provided me. So I'm looking forward to um, that video going live, but also looking forward to the edit that Auto Trader have done that's going on their channel. So this video and the next video will have the Auto Trader links in the description so you can go and check that video out. And it's a little bit how I found the car on Auto Trader, my passion for Auto Trader because I spend way too long on there anyway playing games. And um, just overall, a good feature about my car. This is the weirdest thing in the world. I'm driving my car, I've obviously, since Monday, I've driven nothing but the smart car. This just feels so low, the brakes feel odd. And um, overall, the clutch is a bit weird. So low and wide, I can't believe it. So now I'm going to film this Auto Trader intro. Filming has finished. It took me about 20 minutes because I only really needed to film the intro and the outro because, like I said, Auto Trader are sending me um, the main content which I'm going to be bulking together and put into a teaser video. So make sure that you keep back checking on Supercars of London for that and then obviously on Auto Trader when the full video goes live. So that is done. The one thing that I'll quickly say is your body gets so, or my body gets so used to driving cars. It's crazy, like, for three three or four days that I've been driving this car, I've got so used to it, that jumping back in the R8, it feels like I was driving a spaceship, like the clutch, the brake, how wide it was, how low it was, I literally felt like I was sitting on the ground, but when you drive it every day, like when I'm driving the R8 every day to work, here, there, and every day, you get so used to it, and I think that's the real shame when you've got a car like that, like, you do get used to it, and the sort of sense of thrill and excitement goes, like, I just blip the throttle, and I, like, my blood started rushing, so, I really need a second car. Time to get out of here. Whilst the news is on BBC Radio 1, which I'm currently listening to, I want to give myself a bit of a pep talk. I'm heading into London, it's 24 degrees outside, it's sunny, this is the best day of weather that we are probably going to have this week, and um, I'm heading into London early. It's half past four, aiming to get into London for half past five. Haven't hit too much traffic, and I'm just hoping do you remember what I said on the first vlog with the traffic going the other way on the M1? If I got stuck in that heading down to London, I wouldn't come. Well, I'm still optimistic, 24 degrees. I've only got two bars of fuel left, so I'm hoping it's gonna get me in and out. But there seems to be some sort of crash. This is my third Range Rover SVR, and I'm going to be following it into Knightsbridge to try and get some sound clips of it. I need to catch up with it first though. Come on, green. Yes, go. Look how quick this car is, it can keep up with an SVR. I'll try and catch up with it. This guy's checking out the smart car. What a beast. I've seen a grey one, there's a blue 15 plate one at the Dorchester, and now this one. I've seen one in Paris as well on Qatari plates, which uh, might come over to London, might not, who knows, but this is pretty cool. Let's get it in the sunlight. Pow! <laughs> it's so cool. You will not believe it, we've arrived in Knightsbridge. It's chaos. There's a Ferrari beeping me. But I'm not the one that's moving, it's this guy. The P1, the MSO P1 is out. This is how good Instagram is now for car spotting. We are heading there right now. California, to zoom in, there is also a Veyron parked up. But no one cares <laughs> because we're all going to find this MSO P1. There's going to be loads of car spotters right by this. It's just been put up on Instagram, so everyone is making their way there right now. Ladies and gentlemen, the hunt is over. Thank you to all of the car spotters that are here. <laughs> oh my God, this thing is ridiculous. And it's also blocking the road. This looks like a race car. Oh my God. Christ. Ladies and gentlemen, I have dashed my car for the sake 
of that. Can you believe it? We have found it. So, so is everyone else, we're definitely last to arrive. And uh, it's a 458 coming. utter chaos here with the McLaren P1. I'm so glad that we were able to hunt it down. It took about half an hour or so, but um, my car is parked here with Maserati. Um, but yeah, that P1, what a ridiculous specification. And it's MSO, McLaren Special Operation. So it's um, pretty unique and it's all reflective glow in the dark. So I'm looking forward, hopefully, to seeing it at night time. I'm gonna stay here, follow it, and um, fingers crossed it's out for a long period of time and I can get good videos for this baby. Three hours later, the P1 is still here. We have been waiting for ages and not much movement. We think the owner has gone for a walk. He had a lot of security with him, but you can see the P1 still. And the car spotters have sort of died off. I think there's about seven still waiting, but I am determined to get footage of it moving on the road, whatever it is. If it starts up in electric mode and drives off, then yeah. Oh, just set off the... Uh, motion light which is hurting my eyes but it brightens up the smart car so the time is half past 10 the car is still here and I'm still here I'm desperate to see this car moving but it has been parked up for the past four and a half five hours call me mad but I do want to see this car moving on the road so the time is half past 10 and the P1 is still there. Yep, still there, hasn't moved. And I'm currently blocked in with an Aston Martin DBS Volante. I'm not sure if you can see that. And a Maserati behind me. But that is it, ladies and gentlemen. I'm ending the vlog here. Thank you for watching. The hunt for the P1 was a success. But unfortunately, as you can still see right there, that it's still parked up so fingers crossed over the weekend I can get some content of it driving on the road but I need to get home hour drive and um, I'm gonna be home at about half past 11 I'm up super early in the morning so it's gonna be daily vlogs from about six o'clock wish me luck make sure that you subscribe for daily vlogs and loads of supercar content I will see you tomorrow through from Ford France saying that I got a speeding ticket whilst I was driving down in the south of France. This is on the Friday as we were arriving into Monaco, so we probably just got over it.